Hi friends, welcome back. I am so excited that you are joining me today. This is Patty Bennett and I blog at pattystamps.com and today I'm very excited to share some fun things with you. So these are all brand new products that we are going to be using. They are in the annual catalog that is brand new. It starts May 4th. Uh, so just in like, oh, two, two weeks, less than two weeks. Oh my goodness. How exciting is that? So we are going to be using the hand penned suite. And since I cannot open the catalog and show you that right now at the time of filming this on April 23rd, I'm just going to have to show you the products that we're using, but um, I can't show you the inside of the catalog. So welcome if you're joining me live. Very exciting. I think I might have logged on a moment early, so I think everybody is finding the live. If you see this little red live button, you have joined me on a Facebook live. If you don't see that, then you might be watching a replay on Facebook on my YouTube channel or on my blog, and that's great too. I appreciate you joining me, and it's so nice that you spend a little time with me. You know, last week when I did my live, I had several people say that they were joining me for the first time. So I thought I'd just give a shout out to all of the first timers and say welcome and just tell you just like, two seconds worth about me so that you know who I am. So my name is Patty Bennett, and I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for almost 26 years. Can you believe that? That's, that's pretty amazing, I think. In June, it'll be 26 years. And I have had a blog at pattystamps.com for about, I think, 13 or 14 years now. You are going to find the project that we're making today on my blog tomorrow. We're going to have some uh, measurements and dimensions and cutting and scoring and whatnot. So you uh, can either take a screenshot while we're live or you can visit me tomorrow there at pattystamps.com for photos of all the dimensions and everything. Okay, so that out of the way, let's get going. And I just wanted to say welcome again to everyone who's joining live and especially to Patricia in the Netherlands. She is just so sweet to join us each week from so far away. I just feel like that's just such, so exciting. <laughs> but welcome to everybody. I'm just really thankful that you are spending a little time with me. So you can always share this if you think someone you know might enjoy seeing a project with the sneak peek products, or you can give me a heart or a smile or a thumbs up if you are enjoying it as well. All right, so we are using the hand penned suite, which does include a stamp set and matching dies. So those are in this suite, as well as this stunning, gorgeous, amazing, beautiful paper. Look at these beautiful designs. Some of them are really small and detailed. Others are a little bit larger in scale. Then the back side includes just some more plain kind of patterns. Sometimes it's nice to break up the busyness with a little bit more subtle of a pattern. But what we are actually using today is the set of Memories and More cards. So these are a package of cards. There are, let me see if it says how many total. Hang on, let me look in the catalog. Okay, why aren't I seeing the total number of cards? It just says one kit. Well. We'll figure that out in a minute. But the kit includes pre-printed three by four cards. It includes four sticker sheets. So there's two designs, two sheets of each. So these are like real heavy weight. So you can tell by that it's a real heavy weight, uh, but they're stickers. And then it also includes four by six printed cards. 
And everything, by the way, is double-sided. So you have a choice of two different designs. So maybe on this one, you want to use this on a project, and then maybe you want to flip it over and use the other side on a different project. So we are actually using this today. And I have pulled out some cards that I think I'm going to use on this project. We are also using this package, which is the note card, printed note card, and printed envelope that coordinates with this. So I'm going to show you a couple of ideas that I had for making note cards. But before we do that, and don't let me forget to show those. They're over here in my box. And I'm like just a tiny bit afraid that I'm going to forget. So don't let me forget. Somebody remind me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Patricia. Switzerland, not Netherlands. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you for correcting me on that. And then in this suite are also these beautiful gems. So kind of a gold tone and the new in color soft succulent. Actually, these are probably peach, aren't they? This is, or, I mean, the papaya. But to me, it's kind of a gold, but it definitely goes with the papaya. So excuse me for misrepresenting that. But yes, beautiful gems. And I had an open pack somewhere, and by goodness, I can't find, oh, I just found them. Here we go. So we'll use the open package. I just realized what I had done with all my in-color goodies. So yeah, so that. And then we're also going to use this beautiful new Highland Heather ribbon. This, I just have to tell you, look look how soft this is. This is completely amazing. Sometimes we think of a wider ribbon as maybe stiffer, but oh wow, look, this is going to be so fun to use. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the papaya cardstock and the soft succulent cardstock and one of these new ombre gift bags. So you're thinking, okay, this is pretty stuff. What in the world are you making? <laughs> right? Has anybody wondered yet? <laughs> so this, and this is funny, you're probably going to laugh, but this is my example. Yes, it's Christmas. But I made these a couple Christmases ago, and I absolutely love this project. I think this is just such a super cute project. You can see I've made it into a gift card holder. It doesn't have to be a gift card holder, but it's really the perfect little project for a gift card holder. You can see I have a gift card in this pocket. You leave yourself some room to write, and then you do some decorating. Okay, so that's what the project is going to turn out to be. But we're not doing Christmas because this is April. <laughs> we are going to use the new products. So how fun, right? And I have done this project for many different occasions. I thought this one would be super cute for a Mother's Day gift, right? Uh, find out where the mother that you are sending it to would like to possibly shop. And then you can include that gift card. So my sample pieces are in kind of Christmas colors because I had uh, used these for an example with these projects. So our base card piece, this, is just your standard four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? The fold-out piece, this piece that does that, I probably shouldn't go that fast. The camera probably doesn't like that. <laughs> the fold-out piece is four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. We're going to score it twice, and then you fold it up into a Z fold. So see, it makes like a Z. So that's why it's called a Z fold. This piece is actually... Can you see that red border around here is actually that. So there's the dimensions for that. So I'm just going to pause just for a minute right there. And if you would like to either take a screenshot or write them down, you can do that. But like I said, tomorrow, April 24th, this all will be on my blog at pattystamps.com. So uh, if you miss it right now, don't panic. You can always come back tomorrow. All right, it's 
So I'll leave that there just for a minute. I'll just say hi to a couple of you watching. Hi, Susan, Debbie, Jennifer, Julie, Carol and Sonia, Patricia, Karen, Pam, Tammy, Susan. Oh, so many people. Thank you all for joining me. How exciting. How exciting. All right. So I'm going to set these aside and we're going to start cutting and creating with these new hand penned sweet products. So I have, I pulled out some that I think I'm going to use and, and you never quite know. Sometimes when you get going on this, then it'll be like, mm, maybe let's pull out something different. You never, you never quite know. So we'll see how it works. So I've got my trimmer and I need out of this piece, I will need my quarter sheet base card, and then I will also need this piece. So here's what I discovered that I'm just going to lay it on top so you can kind of see. So if you cut this in half first at four and a quarter, you will have enough for the Z fold portion and your quarter sheet. You'll have this left over, which you could use for this piece, but then all of them will be the same color. So I, I'm choosing to use the pale papaya and the soft succulent so that we have sort of, uh, you know, two different colors going on. But I just wanted to show you that this is how you would want to cut it to get the most out of your cardstock. I'm all about the math and the dimensions. That's just my brain. So first, we're just going to cut our piece in half so that we have two that are four and a quarter inches wide. Flip this one, cut it to five and a half. I'm gonna set one aside because I don't really need it. And then that gives me my four and a quarter by five and a half piece. Okay, so that's my back, back piece. <laughs> Not my back, my back piece. <laughs> so then we need to cut this one down to nine and three quarters. And okay, so what I'm realizing is that was not 11 inch piece. I must have used the other part for something else. So don't panic. Don't think, why does she have not so much left over? Anyway, it was supposed to be an 11 inch piece and I must have used part of it. I'm sorry for the confusion there. So we have our four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Okay, that's this one. We are going to score at three and a quarter and at six and a half. And remember, the light colored one is your scoring blade. The dark one is your cutting blade. When you get used to that, it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not cause for concern. But if you're new to the trimmer, just make sure that you're using the correct one, scoring and cutting. Okay. Now we can use our bone folder to make this into the Z fold. So we're just going to flip those in opposite directions on the score. And that's all there is to that. It's not complicated. Uh, once you make one, then like all of the rest of them are just so fast, so fun. So that's our Z-fold part. This is our base card. And what I like to do, the reason I pulled out these Memories and More cards is because all of these little 3 by 4 cards are all the perfect size for this project. You don't need to do anything to those. The only thing that you still need to cut is one of these pieces that is 4 by 6 you can see would need to be trimmed down to five and a quarter. Or, of course, you could grab designer series paper. But I am just using my Memories and More cards. And to show you how you can do this with a Memories and More card pack. Okay, so now cutting that to five and a quarter, we have this perfect little mat. I am going to use my stamp and seal i grabbed the seal plus it doesn't really matter you can use whatever you'd like you could use the liquid adhesive anything you like is totally fine then my decision here was to do soft succulent for that layer and then our z fold is going to go on top 
So do you see how pretty that is with the succulent and the papaya? Let me hold it up just so you can see. Look how beautiful. Isn't that going to be a nice contrast on there? I think that's going to be really pretty. Do you like that? I like this contrast. So I have found for me, it's easier to go ahead and attach this piece first. And you don't want to skimp on um, adhesive because of pulling this Z fold part out over and over and over. Because trust me, when you get one of these, you just can't stop. It's just so cute, right? It's so fun. You can't stop. And you want to make sure this is really secured. So I put a little extra adhesive on that. And then I can flip this one over and put adhesive on here. Again, I'm going to do just a little extra just because, you know, it's, it's going to be flipped open and closed, open and closed, open and closed. Okay, so then we'll just center that and put it on there. My preference is that it pulls out this way. If you prefer that it pulls out the other way, you would just flip this upside down and it would pull out to the right. But I like it this way. So then we just decide what do we want on the front and what do we want on the other panels and how are we going to decorate it? So that's, that's real, it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I was going to put this ribbon down first so that we could like tie it up. But you know what? I think we'll use it on the bag. So I'm going to put it on top of there and we'll use it on the bag instead. Ah, I knew I would forget. So I think what I'm going to do is my plan was to put this one on the inside and use some of these cute stickers that come in the pack. And I really didn't, I really don't want it to say always dreaming that it, that's, I wanted to use it for a birthday. So my plan was if we took this birthday sticker and we would cover up always dreaming but what I also want to do is to grab this one and just add, see like it's okay if some of this shows. I kind of actually want some of that to show. Okay, kind of like that. And then we cover up the always dreaming with happy birthday. This gives me a spot to write a little message to someone instead of it being like a really busy um, pattern in there. So there we go. And you can see what I was saying, that these three by four memories and more cards are the absolute perfect size when you layer it onto this Z fold portion. Do you love it? I think this is so cute. I am absolutely loving this. So once you decide which one goes inside to write your message, kind of then I think the second most important one would probably be the front. Now, at first, I thought, I really don't know if I want to introduce yellow and purple and peach and green. But that's why I said it's important to gather up a few of these cards that you think you're going to use and give yourself some options. So if you think, well, I don't know, that's like maybe one too many colors, you could try a different one. So this one would be the safe choice, if you know what I mean. Like it just repeats all the same colors and it does not introduce yet another uh, color. But... I'm trying not to be so safe. <laughs> so what do you think? I actually think this is really gorgeous. I think this works. I really do. I think it's very pretty. And I think what I would do is come back here to these choices and probably grab, probably, I don't, what do you think? I'm not sure if celebrate today, because it's a birthday card, 
if we covered up gather happy thoughts with celebrate today and then we do another sticker i don't know because i don't know gather happy moments for a birthday card i mean i guess so it could work birthdays are happy fun We'll leave it for now. We'll give that a moment of thought here. But I'm going to just go for it. And I'm going to put this one on the front. Oh, good. Okay, Susan says, I like the additional splash of color. We are just going to go for it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I love it. It's happy. And then on this inside portion is where I am going to put, let's see, maybe... What do you think about the yellow? But then we need a pocket for the um, gift card. So what if we did that so that it repeats the... Oh, that's too busy. I think that's too busy. What do you think? I'm not, I'm not digging that. Which one? Which one? We don't really need to add blue. Oh, I like that so loved, but that's pink. That's that's another color. Oh my goodness. Ooh. What about a little bit of yellow? And then we maybe cut this one in half for the pocket. See if I cut it there and that's the pocket. Is that too busy? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let's let's flip this this way. Let's keep that as an option and let's work on what would be on the back. And I know I set this one aside just because this is just just something that we can build on with some of those stickers. And I think I lost my other one that I had in mind. I think I scooped it up and it's now in this pile. And I have no idea which one it is. Ooh, look. Love. Love love okay that's my choice i put that one there this one here and then we will use some of these stickers maybe we'll do the celebrate today that's what we'll do i'm just see i'm working it out as we go right isn't that the fun of all of these cute little memories and more cards and you can um like i said use the designer paper if you prefer that is an option. And, oh, that's cute. BU. It's funny. I know Tammy is watching, and she had just said, uh, she shared a tip with our group this morning about just uh, be yourself. That would be a great card to use, Tammy, for that. All right. That, and then we're going to, I know we're going to use this, celebrate today. How about those flowers and these flowers? So if we put some, a little bit of color like that, and then we do celebrate today. Cute, right? So that's just the back side, but just a little decoration. And then, I don't know. What did you, anybody think about, is this too zippy? Is that too much? Oh, we could do that. Oh, and then that. Oh, yes. That's what I'm going to do. So I am going to cut this one in half at two inches. That was a curveball. Did you see that, what I just did? Okay, so this one, I'm going to flip this way so that we don't see today. We don't need today happening on there. We're going to do that. And then here's a tip. When you are putting this little pocket on for the gift card, I like to use the um, tear and tape. So I like to do that on the two sides along the bottom 
and that just gives it just a really good extra hold. We'll just flip that piece back. Where's my end? All right. And when you're using um, tear and tape, I always like to burnish it with my bone folder and then it's just easier for me to pull up the pieces with one of my pokey tools so I'm not kind of picking at it and see how this was extra you can just flip that over like that then we'll put that there and that way this kind of carries the yellow theme a little bit see we have the yellow the yellow the yellow and a little splash of yellow but then we still have all the greens and we have all the beautiful soft elements there and then we can just stick our gift card in write our message and ta-da I love it I think it's cute the only thing I'm going to ponder a little bit is I think I actually pulled out some other some stamp sets and I was thinking like something like this wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you from the pansy set or uh, little cart no not thanks no never mind not that one or this one wishing you a wonderful birthday stamped onto some kind of a tag I think I think I will cover that I'm just not sure about the gather happy moments. So I still have that option. So um, that I will do probably later because I still have two more projects that I want to show you with this suite. So do you like it? I think this is such a cute project. I really love it. Yes, the pansy sentiment. Okay, I agree. I think that would be really cute. Oh, yes. And Kathy says that you could also put money in here. This could be for graduation. Uh, this could be for birthdays, weddings. Oh, wouldn't this be neat for a wedding? And actually, that would be really perfect for a wedding, wouldn't it? Gather happy moments because that would be so fun, right? And then you wouldn't do the birthday. You'd just say like for you or something like that. Yeah, so that would be fun. So let's scoot this aside and work on the bag. Now you might be thinking, what, what, why, are, why are you doing a bag? What's the bag for? Well, since this is so thick, right, this is very thick, I thought instead of an envelope, what if it was in a bag? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even stand how cute this is going to be. So I pulled out one of the ombre bags. These are in the five new in colors. How beautiful are these? Gorgeous. And I'll show you, we talked earlier about being safe or not. So at first, this is what I was going to do. Now, this is very safe, just repeating the green. And then I thought to myself, live dangerously, be a little more creative and I did that and I went oh my heavens how beautiful is that combo right and we're pulling in all of these same colors the purples and the yellows and the greens and just repeating those and I thought oh my gosh this is just going to be like a beautiful little presentation so since I forgot to use the purple on there what I'm going to do first is to wrap the purple ribbon around this underneath. So before we add these layers, and I'll talk to you about those, I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And I'm just going to put a spot of adhesive and then flip it over. Okay, just so we kind of know this is going straight, right? And then do a little more adhesive on the back. I don't know how many of you still have these amazing ribbon scissors. I can't give these up. I mean, my goodness, they're just, I wish we still sold those. I don't know how many years ago those retired, but I still use them religiously every day just because I just think they're the best. Okay, and I'm not going to pull this too tight because I don't want to wrinkle up my bag. 
but I want this on the bag before, oops, yeah, that was talented. I want this on the bag before my embellishment goes on. Oh, this ties beautifully. This is the most amazing. It's gorgeous. If you missed in the beginning, it's Highland Heather ribbon, and it is Grosgrain ribbon. But this is, you can see, by the way, I was tying it. So soft and amazing. So we'll just trim that. Oh, so pretty. You don't even have to decorate it. Like, how pretty would that be, right? But we are. We're going to decorate it. This is a piece of the hand-penned paper that I showed you in the beginning. It's die cut with these new dies called Scalloped Contours. Let me take it out so you can see. You can see here I used this largest die, and it makes these cute little... Can you see that? These cute little scallops with holes. See, like holes there. I mean, they're on purpose. They're cute, right? So cute. You could have used one of the four by six Memories and More cards that we were using. It doesn't have to be the um, designer paper. So either way, I just had it on my desk. I thought that's cute. So I'm going to use that as my base layer. I love these dies. And if you're wondering, um, usually someone asks in every video about the magnet cards and these envelopes that I use. I will link to this on the video description after I'm done. It's from a company called Stampin' Storage, and it's the same company I use for my cardstock storage, my ink pad storage, um, a whole, all like half of my craft room is Stampin' Storage. And I love these uh, envelopes that I use. I label them with my brother P-Touch labeler and then um, just slip the magnet card in. Now here's a tip for you. Normally you would think to use it this way. See how this front is lower? But if you have, let's see, like right here, here's a good example. If you have a set of dies that has lots of little pieces and you put it in this way, which I really think this is the way it's supposed to go. But look, you can see that you run the risk of a piece like this or this coming loose in handling. I mean, it just happens and losing it. So that's why I put them in this, this way. And really, it's just a preference. I'm not saying like there's a right or wrong, but it's just something that I like to do so that it protects all of the dies, and then I just cut this piece off of the Stampin' Up! packaging, and I tuck it behind, and I just keep it with that, just in, I don't know, probably don't need to, but, but I do. I label both the magnet card and this, so anyway, just, that's just, just a side note, so, okay, we did that, so I am going to tuck it under the ribbon and attach to the front here, and I'm just going to do it straight to the bag. I am not going to use any dimensionals on this layer, but I am going to raise up the smaller layer. So we're just going to put that here. And then I think these two I'm going to attach. So this is the three by four Memories of More card, attaching it to a three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of soft succulent. This is a new in color. If you did not see my in color video, I can also link to that. I showed you all of those great new in colors. But this piece I'm going to raise up and I love these foam sheets. If you have not, excuse my reach, have you have not seen these packages, the foam adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up! So you, I think you get six sheets in there. And in general, I am cutting them up into small pieces to use for smaller uh, little die cuts or, or punch outs that are raised up. But in a case like this, rather than putting like, I don't know, 12 or something dimensionals on here, I just like to cut a piece of this. And that'll do for that. And then we'll just cut some off. 
like that. I'm going to put it back here and it ensures that you don't have any areas that sag or um, are uneven or anything. So that's just a double-sided foam adhesive. Slip it under the bow and put it right on the front. So there's my beautiful bag with the ribbon, the um, gorgeous layered pieces, and then we will put this inside and look at all those stunning colors together in one project. Do you love it? I absolutely love it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. I hope you like it. Um, yes, Jacqueline, I showed those in the beginning, and that's actually what we're going to use right now. Jacqueline was asking about the Memories and More envelopes and or cards and envelopes. They're all pre-printed. Look how cute is that? Yes, I showed these in the beginning. And so what we're going to do is just make two super quick cards with these. Oh, thank you. Everybody says love it. Tammy says amazing. Yes, special gift card. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So these are sized larger than a normal card. So this is our four and a quarter by five and a half normal card. And if I lay it on top, you can see that these, I'll fold it, you can see that these are a little bit larger. So these are four and a quarter by six. And what that allows is that when you take one of these four by six memories and more cards and you layer it, you get a nice little border. Okay. But when I held it on here, I was thinking, well, I really would like to see really just a little more of this cute design. So I am going to just trim this down. I'm going to start with a quarter inch off and see how I like it. And then I might do another quarter of an inch. Let me just, oh, wait, not on that side. I'm going to do the white. I'm just going to see if that gives me enough of a little extra border, I think it would be really cute to see just a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at the difference. Isn't that cute? Just like buckets of cuteness with that border. So that was just a quarter of an inch off a side and off the white part. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. And then I wanted to show you also, depending on the orientation of these Memories and More cards, you can do vertical cards or see, you can do the horizontal cards. And, oh, well, no, that's that's a little bit too boring. Just, well, it's not too boring. It's really cute, but, but I thought this would be cuter. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Take off a quarter of an inch. And you could even take off a half inch and then mat it with um, a solid cardstock or another pattern. It doesn't matter. And see, isn't that cute that it just gives you that little extra border? So let's go ahead and put that on. And this one, I just wanted to show you how super simple you can just leave it like this. You do not need to add a single thing. And you have this adorable card and envelope that you can just send. I think, though, you know what? We forgot to add these on our previous project, so we might go a little wild with these in a minute and add them to all of our projects. <laughs> but, I mean, it's hard for me to just go, like, total plain like this. But look, it works, right? Totally works. You can just do just a minimum and it's adorable. So then let's do this one, but I think we will stamp a greeting. Oh, look, that's cute too. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Oh, I love that. I love that. But since I already cut, see, I would have done like an eighth of an inch here and an eighth of an inch here to center that. Since I already cut it, we will probably use the other card like this on a different project sometime. All right, go ahead and layer that. And then, you know, I just, I really love 
this birthday sentiment. Wishing you a little extra happiness. Just, oh, no, that's cute. I think this is the one that I said we would use on, on that fold-out card, I believe. Trying not to bump the camera. If you have seen before when... When I have worked with photopolymer stamps, this is a tip that I always give you. After you peel it either off the plastic or out of your case, let it sit for a minute on your table with the stamping side down, the flat side up, and then do this to pick it up. That ensures that you have the whole thing just at its normal size. It, you're not like stretching it to put it down or tweaking it to make it um, askew. That's how I like to mount all of my photopolymer stamps. So then let's just stamp it straight on here. Let's just go super simple on this. And what color do you think? Mm, I wonder... I'm looking at the new in colors, so not polished pink because that's just that's not happening in this project. Papaya is not on that project. So I would say freesia, evergreen, or succulent on just just to stamp it, just keeping it super simple again. I am not sure. I'm not sure which one. I think the evergreen would really give it a nice pop of richness. But this is really a soft kind of a project. So I'm going to narrow it down to these two. Jacqueline agrees. She likes the evergreen. Shan says purple. So what do you think between the succulent and the freesia? Evergreen. Oh, well, maybe I'll bring it back in. Tammy says evergreen. Deb says freesia. So you know what I'll do? Here's what I'll do. Grab my little... Uh, scratch paper. Let's stamp it in evergreen and see. So like if I just, well, I'll just put it there. If I put it there and I just sort of hold it up to, that would really look nice, wouldn't it? That would really be nice. And, oh, hang on. I forgot to wet my chamois. So, pardon me while I just grab a baby wipe. Sorry about that. So then let's look at Freesia. I think that's... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the green. I think the Freesia is pretty, but but it's um, not as striking. So I'm going to go with my very first, oh dear, hang on. My first inclination with the evergreen. Sometimes isn't it just best to stick with your, your very first thought? Sometimes it just is. And we'll just use this for a little padding underneath just to make sure. And I just want to make sure I'm getting it straight. Perfect. How cute. All right. Oh, I love it. It's, it's really striking with the black outline. I think that it was a really nice compliment. Is that pretty? Yay! I like it. I really like it. Really like it. Okay, thank you for everyone who voted for Evergreen. I think we did it. All right, so we have another nice, easy, quick and easy pairing there of Memories and More card with the cards and envelopes. And then we can do a little decorating and then we're done. So if you have questions while I am doing this, please go ahead and Ask them right now. There we go. Just add a little bit of something, something with the soft succulent gems. That's cute. And then I'm kind of thinking 
the papaya ones, I think they'll work nicely on here. Yep. Yep, because look at the yellow and the papaya. It just really brings out. Isn't that pretty? Yep. So that's that. And then let's put a couple on this project. Now, we don't want to make it too lumpy inside. But I do think a couple of green ones on the front would be just, just beautiful. Pretty, pretty. And then a couple of green ones on here. Or, no, let's be daring. Let's go out of the box. Pull in all of those colors. Yep. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> See, sometimes I'm just really hesitant to add too much or, you know, go out of my box with the colors. So, oh, Patricia's asking, do I have a favorite color in general? Yes, Poppy Parade is my favorite Stampin' Up! color. Oh, some Wink of Stella. Yes, totally. Um where I just put a whole bunch of them. Oh, they're right here. I put a whole bunch of them aside because I need to add some rubbing alcohol in here because they're they're getting kind of dry. But, yep. Little Wink of Stella on all of those. We can put some on this one. And then on this. Oh, that's just such a perfect suggestion. How pretty. I know you probably can't see the glimmer on the camera, but you need to trust me that that was just a perfect suggestion and they just have the most beautiful soft shimmer now on those flowers. All right, so something I should probably remind you of is that Everything we used in this hand-penned suite is in the new catalog. It starts May 4th. The dates are on, well, the spine, if you didn't have it cut off like I did to spiral bind. The dates are on the spine. They're also on the back. It starts May 4th. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you work with, I am happy to send you a catalog. You can jump over to pattystamps.com. There is a button that says request a catalog or it says catalogs or something like that. It's up at the top and you can always request one. And I would be happy to be your demonstrator, help you with your orders and answer your questions about our products. If you already work with a demonstrator, please contact your demonstrator and give them the chance to, uh, you know, provide you with excellent service and send you a catalog and place your orders through that demonstrator as well. So I hope you love these. I thought this was really fun and I'm going to just, you know, spend part of the rest of the day just opening and closing my cute little card. <laughs> and if you want uh, more photos, this project here, so the pullout card with the bag will be on my blog on April 24th and these two I will blog at a later time. Thank you for joining me. I do this every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm hoping that you will join me again if you have the opportunity. And I just love spending some time with you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you viewing and your comments and your kindness. And I will see you next week. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.